Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is a game about people who love dogs and probably own dogs. It's called Dog Tag by Dog Tag Media. The game plays up to two to five players, ages eight and up, and is about 20 to 40 minutes to play. In the game, you're basically going to be uh, having a hand of cards, and you're going to be using those cards to play down pictures or comments on pictures, and those pictures are all going to be based around dogs. Not only that, but you'll also have a separate deck of cards that are basically going to be achievements that you're going to be trying to gain throughout the game. Whether it be that you need to have a certain amount of pictures, or a certain amount of pictures with comments on them, or some mix of both, you're going to be trying to associate your tableau with those achievements, sacrificing your uh, tableau achievement, uh, tableaus cards for those achievements, and gaining them. If you can gain enough uh, before somebody else does, you're going to win the game. Normally it's about three. And you're also going to be utilizing this deck of cards. Now what's also interesting is you're going to take a card from the top of the deck, and you're going to do what it says based on uh, the first listing of it, if it's an action card, and if it is already in your hand, you're simply going to be able to play it. After you've done that, then you get to draw cards, and then you get to play a certain amount of actions in your hand, whether it's play a comment, or an action, or a picture card, and then if you can, discard cards to gain your achievements. Whoever gains their achievements first before any other player is the winner. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at Dog Tag. Arf, arf! So here we have dog tag and everything included, it, as well as the rule book here. Uh, you're going to be getting the box, you're going to be getting the rule book, you're going to be getting the achievements, as well as you're going to be getting a full stack of cards. Uh, in the achievements, depending on the number of players for the setup, is going to determine how many start on the field. In a two player game, it'll be five. And in a three or more player game, it's going to be six. And they're going to refresh after there's only three left when one of them goes, you'll put a new one down. So there will always be at least three on the board. Each player is also going get five cards from the deck just shuffled and dealt out to them uh, individually in a circle and then you're going to assign one player to go first well on a player's turn you're simply going to go ahead and be able to look at your hand usually it's going to have pictures and comments as well as actions and you can take up to three actions but you don't have to one of your actions could be to play a picture card another one of your actions could be to play a comment on one of your pictures and uh, another action could be to play a action card now uh, before you go ahead and actually play any of these actions though you're going to do something interesting which is flip over a card from the top of the deck if it's a picture card you're simply going to put it in front of you and it'll count as one of your pictures if it is a comment you're going to give it to anybody else on the field as one of their on one of their pictures and if it's an action you're going to do the open face aspect of the action card otherwise you're going to be using the other one for when you play it on your turn then after that you're going to be drawing two cards from the deck and then you're playing your three actions so uh, i already have yellow so I'll, maybe i'll play this one here and uh, maybe a blue one over here, and then I'll play three comments on this guy here. That'd be my three actions for the round. Also, we're gonna look and see these guys here. Now you need three of them to win, and they all require different things. This one you're gonna need two blue pictures and two purple. This is two, I'm oh, sorry, two green and two purple. Two green and two yellow or orange. Uh, this is three green, three purple, and this is a mix of all five. Uh, they're all gonna be different ones. Some of them involve uh, having to go viral, which I'll explain in a second. And this has to involve uh, uh, a picture with comments on it, whether it be three or the most. They have different uh, objectives, basically. Um, and then after that, you're going to end your turn. So he's basically done. The next player is going to get to go. He's got his hand. He's going to flip over one of these on the top of the deck. Oh, now we have an action card. And it says open faced and posting. Posting is when you play it from your hand as an action. Open face is when you do it during this phase, where you're just flipping over one card from the deck. Choose a player to take a picture from your board and place it on one of their own. Oh, how nice of you. <laughs> Usually it's going to be affecting you negatively when you draw it like that. Luckily, he doesn't have any pictures on his board, so this card is just going to go into the discard pile. However, if he had one of these pictures, that player could simply take that. Then he'll get to do uh, his draw action, which is drawing two cards. He'll then be able to play cards. Now, he wants to play green and purple, maybe because he wants to get that objective, so he'll play a green and a purple. And he also has this share card in his hand. Now, as I told you before, this is coming from his hand, so it says take a picture from another player's board and add it to your own. So maybe he wants this color here uh, too, just in case he's able to get that objective so he'll play that one that would be his third action and he'll steal that picture from this player here boo hoo uh, after that he's going to be done as well and they'll go back to the next player again flipping over the top card it's a blue card which i guess can go over here and then he'll be able to draw two cards and play once again two three up to three actions Ooh, he's got a steal just take a card from another player's hand so for one action he can do that and steal a card yoink uh, and then maybe he wants to go ahead and play this here now, when he plays that there, there's going to be six comments there. That means he gets to go viral. When you go viral, you actually get to draw two cards. So going viral is useful. There's also different achievements that will help you with that. 
Um, and then you can play one more action, which I guess we'll go ahead and play this one right here. And then, once again, he is done. The next player is going to get to go, flipping this over. Uh-oh, a flag. Choose a player to discard any comment from your picture board. This player would choose a comment on his picture board. If he had one like this here, it would be a comment. It would get removed. Luckily for him, no comments on his pictures. So this is simply going to go away. And he'll get to take two new cards. And now he's going to have to play three actions. Well, as you can see, there's just a bunch of comments here. So maybe it would be a good idea to play three actions just like this to go viral, allowing you to draw more cards for next round. And you would continue you till eventually somebody's able to score an objective. Now I'll go ahead and just show you what that would look like really quick here. So for instance, maybe uh, this player here had these right there. Now remember, you can only have five of these pictures out in front of you at any time, and if you wanted a different picture, like for instance, he wanted to play this uh, this green one, and he didn't need this because he wanted uh, three green ones, he could discard this along with all the uh, comments attached to it and place that one down instead. Um, however, in this instance right now, once he plays this one here, he could actually go ahead and discard three fitness images, and he would gain this uh, tail chaser and you put it right there. In a five player game, these just get scooted over and you don't actually add any to here. However, there are cards in the deck uh, that will like trending that let you swap an open uh, facing achievement with a new one from the deck. So you simply be taking this here. Maybe maybe this player is afraid this player is gonna get uh, the two and two. So he'll take this shuffle back into the deck and then simply reveal a new one. Oh, and now we have this, uh, four pictures with two comments on each of them. So that would be a new achievement, which could then help this player out instead by him simply going ahead and saying, okay, I'm going to play this two here and this two here, and uh, he's got one comment here, so we need one more, and then he could actually get this one here. And that's the basic idea of the game. You're going to go around, draw a top card, do what it says on the open face, uh, then uh, or, or take a picture or give a comment, then draw two cards and play three actions and try and get these specific achievements. If you can do that, you win the game. Dog tag. All right, let's come up and talk about it. All right, so before we get into dog tag, just give you another clarification. Remember, when you're playing with two players, you're simply going to have uh, five of these guys out and the first player to get to three is the winner. And in a more than two player game, you're going to get six of them out. And uh, whenever somebody pulls one, it gets removed until there's only three left. If another one gets removed, you're going to then add one from the deck so that there's always three left over for players to achieve victory. And once somebody gets three, they're going to win the game. It is made by Sean Han and Emily Vo. Uh, and they're actually local designers here in uh, LA, which is pretty cool. Actually, I've got to meet the designer at prior uh, after they requested a review and uh, prior to, to to the game arriving. So that was kind of interesting. But once I got to check this game out, I was happily and pleasantly surprised by how much fun this game is. It is a dog game. There's only two other games I've played there that have dogs in them that I really enjoyed. There's a Dog's Life and Dogs, two very separate games indeed. Um, and this one is even uh, is also different. This one's actually a card game. Those other two are board games. And then this one, of course, it's pretty simple. It's tableau building and you're trying to achieve these specific objectives and they're always different and they change throughout the game which is pretty cool too because there's certain cards in here that are actions that will allow you to like the trending ones to switch the objectives around which actually has a lot of strategical and tactical decisions that can be made to uh, thwart your opponents you might think they're about to they might think they're about to win when all of a sudden you remove their objective they need to win the game and now there's three different objectives out there that don't involve that specific one they're looking for and they have to change strategies you only need three to win but there's always going to be people going back and forth and the game stays very very close every time i played this game with two three and four players uh it was always really close and in fact the person who we almost were sure there was going to win ended up losing due to the fact that the other two players kind of changed the way the game is flowing like oh we have to try and mess with them a little more than anybody else just to try and keep us afloat like other good tactical card take take that card game so this has a little bit of take that which is the action cards but for the most part you're going to be playing these down these really cute pictures of all the little cute doggies and attaching comments to them it reminds me of facebook and all the pictures work with the different comments i mean at least for the most part you got some of the some of the super cute, cute and there's a ton of little dog puns which we'll go ahead and go over a couple of them right now so this picture here you've got a dog and she's uh, underneath a pier maybe this is a seal beach and uh, it says hello jenny the air may be salty but i am sweet and then you got your little home button and your little buttons for your heart and whatnot and then all the comments you can attach to it like very picture wow such a maze <laughs> uh, sharing this lovely content uh, looks like a heckin good time that's so fetch oh my gosh good girl 
<laughs> and so on and so forth. All the cute little doggy puns. But there's a ton of little doggy pictures. Uh, what's this one say? Who let the girls out? Oh my God. I got a bunch of little doggy gals at the beach. What's the deal with all the ash in the sky? <laughs> They're, swimming, they're running through a finish line at the, uh, the the dog sporting meet, so on and so forth. They have some really cute little artwork. I, re I really like the artwork in this game because it's, it's it's really fun. It's really cartoony and like kiddish, I would say, but it works for the type of game it is. It has this social media feel to it and also has the, uh, the dog lover's uh, design attached to it uh, in, in a kid-friendly box. It is a family game, but it has a little bit of... Of, of nuance to it as far as the decisions you can make and how you want to mess your opponents over. It's very easy to learn, very easy to teach, and a lot of fun to play. We played multiple times over the course of two to three days, and every time we had a positive experience. I mean, there's always somebody that's really close to winning and then they don't win because of how it changes. Um, in that sense, kind of like Munchkin, but without the broken, once you hit level 9, you can't get to level 10 because no one will let you. It's more of just the fact that players can kind of tactically move around the different objectives in the game to stop players who are, have an advantage, and they kind of want to work together up until the point where everybody is super close, where it becomes this like really tight race to the finish line. Uh, like I said, overall quality, great, simple, easy card game, love the artwork, brilliant design, Really, really enjoy the game Dog Tag. Very happy I have this one. Another great dog game I'll be adding to my collection. If you're interested in taking a look at Dog Tag, go ahead and check out the description below. An attention-grabbing card game for dog people. How nice. Well, go ahead and check it out. I look forward to seeing you doggies, puppies, I don't know, next time.